So this weekend we have a lot planned. We are going to the, let's see, the farmer's market, the Asian market. Um, we still have to um, plan our meals. Pardon me, I'm outside and there's in front of this bush that's covered with um, bumblebees and things. Um, what else do we have? We have all sorts of things planned. So hopefully you join us on our journey and um, it'll give you a little incentive, some, a few ideas on some meal planning and, and things to do. So we went to the, um, every town in Missouri just about has a fruit stand. So we also went to the fruit stand to kind of get some more stuff. I don't have any idea what our menus are going to be. We'll kind of figure it out based on the stuff we got this week. Um, there's a cucumber and tomato salad. It's kind of sweet. It's really good. We go through about one of those a week, actually. They're really delicious. Um, there's great tomatoes. It says, I thought this was funny, Improving Lives Farm to Table, product of Mexico. So, yeah. Um, there's radishes. Those are only a buck. White nectarines. The kids love nectarines, so that was pretty cheap, too. Uh, they're maybe three bucks. Um, we're going to make sauteed, um, I saute green beans in a little bit of olive oil and garlic. Um, so we'll do that a little bit later this week one day. And then they have this bag. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm not really going to open it right now. It's spring greens. They're local, fresh, organic spring greens. So we'll try those as well. Those are more expensive. Those are, I think, $3.99. So we went to the farmer's market. Um, we got a few things uh, out on our errands. We got some yellow squash. I didn't think it was time for summer squash, but we got three of them. They were like three for a buck. We got some fresh basil because my daughter's going to make pesto this week. I've got the most beautiful cauliflower. That purple is a cauliflower. Oh my gosh, and it looks that color. That's like not filtered or anything. That's just a beautiful cauliflower. And it was like five bucks. Um, honey's a big thing here, local honey. So we have some local honey. And Believe it or not, these little bitty things, let me put my hand down there and show you. That is someone's homegrown cauliflower. You can hear Noelle in the background. She says the basil smells good, and it really does. The celery is homegrown, and it's really tiny. It's the cutest thing ever, and it's delicious. Um, I got sunflower sprouts, which we're going to use for salads. I heard they were good on snacking. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, sunflower sprouts were expensive, and I know why. I mean, how many sunflowers do you got to grow to make sunflower sprouts? Um... We got the, these, the ones over on the left are supposed to be English cucumbers, and then the ones on the right are just regular cucumbers, and they were just 50 cents a piece. And then I got um, chicken livers. <laughs> um, I saw a recipe that I'd like to try, just sauteed chicken livers, just saute them in coconut oil. Um, and I was told they're extremely fresh, they were just processed yesterday. So we shall see. So you probably saw a picture of some of this if you follow my Instagram. Um, we, part of our grocery haul this week, we went to the Asian market in St. Louis and actually got some different kinds of Asian snacks and things to try. Um, I watch Mikey Chen, he's a YouTuber, and he really talks about Asian snacks a lot, so I thought we'd go down there and try it. Um, some of the things we got, these, um, things that look like straws, those are actually filled full of Jello. It's the coolest thing ever. It's like a Jello consistency and there's fruit flavors. Um, of course, roasted seaweed, because the kids eat seaweed all the time. I got a bunch of different kinds of noodles to try, some ramen. Um, what's that? That is coconut flavored pudding. To me, it tastes like hand cream. I didn't enjoy that at all. It kind of tastes like maybe Jergens lotion. Um, there's mango flavored pudding. There's some coconut drinks with coconut in them. Um, we got boba. We make boba tea at home, and so we got boba for the bottom. I think that's mango flavored boba, maybe. Um, we got some different kinds of Pocky. The Pocky there is kind of on the pricey side. Pocky normally costs like a dollar whenever you go to like Walmart, but they had like 50,000 different flavors. Like this one's chocolate, banana, and matcha. So we got two different flavors. There's some other Pocky, some chocolate ones. Um, let's see. So I was all excited. I kind of like tea and coffees and stuff like that. So I saw this thing called milk tea. And all it is is like Earl Grey tea with milk in it, and you can have it hot or cold. But the number four, I didn't know what that was because I can't read the stuff on the outside. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe it was like four containers or something for like juice box kind of thing. I don't know what the four stands for, but I got a boatload of them. So they're okay. That'll last me probably a year. 
Um, we got some hot chicken ramen, a bunch of different kinds of candies. These ginger candies, we tried these in, it says they're from Indonesia. We tried them in Chi at Chinatown in uh, Chicago and they were fabulous. They're like a chewy ginger kind of thing. Um, we got rice paper because we make spring rolls. Um, what else did we get? We got some jackfruit coconut rolls, which I think are just like cookies. There's some more ramen. These uh, candies, let me find them. These are ginseng candy. Um, the kids made me spit it out in the car because it made the car smell like dirty socks. So I don't know if ginseng is supposed to do that or not, but hey, you know. Um, we got some coconut rolls, some coconut candy. So I thought these were candy. They're not sweet at all. It's like eating little pieces of jelly um, covered in coconut. I like them. They're pretty good. And then the last thing we got was some more ginger coconut candy. I kind of like ginger a lot. So here's our meal plans for the week. Um, I love this meal planner, by the way. I wish it was spiral bound, but I'm just saving up the pages. Um, I really do like it. It's kind of a, it's a pad like that, and it goes on the front of the fridge. It's got with magnets, so that way the kids even know what I'm having for every day for our meals. So on Monday, we're going to have butter chicken. Um, butter chicken, I just get containers of like a sauce from Aldi's, and just cook it in the crock pot. Um, I bought a beautiful purple cauliflower yesterday from the farmer's market. So we're gonna have that because it's the most beautiful cauliflower I think I've ever seen. And we'll just have rice. Um, we prefer sushi rice or um, wild rice over regular rice, um, but it's it'll be a, a good meal. Um, and it'll be easy to do so whenever I get home from work I don't have to think about it. Um, then Tuesday we're gonna have turkey burgers. Um, Turkey burgers, you know, we just buy the organic ones from Walmart. They come in a box. They're actually pretty good. And then our local fruit stand has um, a homemade cucumber salad, which is fabulous. Um, it's got cucumbers, tomatoes, um, onions, and it's kind of in a sweet, salty kind of, of dressing. It's wonderful. Um, then Wednesday, we're going to have BLT pasta. So I've got some different recipe books this week. Um, I just bought some magazines from the store with some recipes in it. Um, this is WW Easy Meal Planning. So it's WW's Weight Watchers, um, but it's a BLT pasta. It looked fabulous. And it's on page 14. Um, and I have to write that so I remember. Um, then Thursday, we're going to try green bean steak and peanut stir fry from the Diabetic Living Summer 2020 magazine. Um, it looked really good, and I made sure I bought green beans um, from the farmer's market. We've always got steak. We'll probably switch that up to chicken so my daughter will eat it. And peanut stir fry. We've always got nuts of some type. Um, then Friday we're going to try a salami and farro salad. Now I live in a small town in the Midwest um, so farro is kind of hard to come by so I think I might switch it up with and use uh, barley. Um, it'll have the same texture I think. Farro and barley do. So it's a salami and farro salad. It's, it looked fabulous. And it, again, it's from Diabetic Living, Summer 2020. Um, just, I bought some different magazines. I was tired of cooking my same old recipes. So I bought some different kind of stuff. And then Saturday will be a catch-all lunch salad. Um, I don't even remember where I got that name from. It's basically garbage lunch salad or everything from the fridge. I always have a lot of veggies and stuff in our fridge. I'm ready to eat. So whatever's left over, we'll use that for our lunch salad. Um, then Sunday, I don't have any idea what we're going to do next Sunday. That's a week from today, so we'll figure it out. Um, now, most of these, I don't have a big grocery list this time. I did go to the farmer's market yesterday, um, and I picked up a few veggies. I don't have a huge grocery list this time, which is nice. Um, I'm trying to use up some of the stuff in my freezer. Um, so I'm going to look for farro. If they don't have that, I'll use barley, red wine vinegar. I'm going to get some cauliflower that is not uh, the purple. I'm going to get some just some white plain cauliflower. Um, that'll go in the salami and farro salad. Um, that also calls for six ounces of hard salami. We love hard salami here so that's we'll probably buy it in a stick so I can cut up cubes. Um, a red bell pepper. Uh, milk. We go through a lot. We don't go through that much milk but uh, my son lives on cereal sometimes. So we, right now he's in a cereal kick, so we're going through a lot of cereal. I don't think we need it because I bought some last week. Um, we're going to try sun-dried tomatoes and some whole grain buns for the turkey burgers. And really, I think that's about it for the grocery shopping this week. 
um, it was nice going to the farmer's market yesterday just to pick up a few things um, and then kind of build my menu about, around what I picked up. So that was kind of fun to do. So I've kind of shared what I did this weekend um, with meal prepping and meal planning, things like that. Um, and what my daughter and I did yesterday. Hopefully it'll give you a little bit of incentive to kind of plan your meals and stuff. It does, um, a lot. it's a lot better for budgeting and things like that. Um, I do, I am going to absolutely work out four days a week this week. And working out for me will just be going on a walk or something. I do need to get active. Um, I've kind of let things slide a little bit for the past few months. So during the quarantine, and I don't know why, because I still had to work because I'm essential personnel. You know how that goes. Um, but hopefully this will give you a little bit of incentive to do some meal prepping and some meal planning. Um, it's really not as difficult as it sounds. Um, there's a lot of books out there that'll teach you how to do it, or you can just follow me and I'll help you through that process. So we'll just talk to you later and I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.